you got a little bit of a preview of the subject matter from the questionnaires that you filled out, but is there anybody who, when you sat here today and Judge Saxby read the indictment and read all the charges, like, wow, that's a lot. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I can handle this. An SD memory card said to contain video of a horrific murder is a key piece of evidence in the case against accused murderer Brian Smith. Now, Smith was in an Anchorage courtroom for the start of his trial today. 15 of the 16 people needed for the jury were chosen, 12 jurors plus three alternates. Rebecca Paul show was at the courthouse today and has an update for us now. Evans presented in this trial is expected to be graphic and disturbing, and at least one recording the images allegedly show a naked woman being beaten and strangled in a hotel room, charges say. So today, a lot of the questions to possible jurors focus on how would someone react to graphic video. All rise for the jury. Monday morning, dozens of people arrived at the Anchorage courthouse to report for jury duty. Over the next several hours, they were asked a series of questions. So what we're looking for here are the jurors who could sit on a criminal case, a criminal case that involves allegations of murder, sexual assault, that may involve some graphic images, and it can last for the entire month of February. The underlying question is, do you have something in your personal makeup or history that makes you uniquely situated that you shouldn't be a fair, or you couldn't be a fair juror? As the defense and prosecution peppered the prospective jurors in this case, the man at the center of this trial, Brian Smith, watched on. Smith is charged with murders of 30-year-old Kathleen Jo Henry and 53-year-old Veronica Abucha. Henry died during the first week of September 2019, strangled and killed in a hotel room. After his arrest for Henry's murder, police say Smith confessed to shooting Abuchuk sometime in 2017 or 18. This case gained national attention when a person turned over to police an SD card labeled homicide at Midtown Marriott. You've heard the nature of the charges. They're clearly very, very serious. Evidence presented in this trial is expected to be graphic and disturbing. There'll be explicit photos and videos, and a case expected to last almost all month. We'll be able to find out who needs to come back tomorrow. By Monday afternoon, 15 people were chosen for jury duty, with one more to be added Tuesday morning. And those already chosen for jury duty were told to report to court tomorrow at 11 o'clock for the possible start of opening statements. All right, thanks, Rebecca.